Hi guys, today we're back with a kitchen quickie. So I play the Klondike game on my phone and they have these cloud berries for energy. I figured they were just something cute the game made up, but we were strolling through Ikea and saw some cloudberry jam. Or spread. Actually says cloudberry spread. And so apparently cloudberries are actually native to all of the regions around the North Pole. Are they? And Google even says they grow in the USA, even though never heard of them before. So we wanted to try this out. We've done no research on how it's typically eaten, but we're going to sort of treat it like any other type of jam or jelly. So we're going to have it on our favorite Swedish bread, which is knacky broad. We know that's not all you guys eat over there in Sweden. We know you eat soft breads, but this is like all we eat here now. So we're also gonna try it on a regular old piece of toast. And my crust is removed because I'm a toddler. I'm a toddler, so I'm jealous. It also contains extra calories, so why not just remove it? First up, we'll give it the smell test. I think it's a beautiful color orange and has some pretty big seeds in there. I think it smells like um, molasses. Smells like a really weird peach, maybe? So it smells interesting. It smells a little bit like honey, too. This one has no butter. And this one does have butter. All right, we came, we smelt. It's time to taste. Yeah. So what do you think cloudberry tastes like? I have no clue. <laughs> I think it tastes like a really sweet, very sweet peach, sort of. It is a little bit tart. Uh, it's very sweet. On to the toast. Justin, I propose a toast. Let's get some butter on this toast. I know where my bread is buttered, and it's right here. You don't want cloudberry jam. You don't want cloudberry jam. No, you don't. Okay, so the butter does help it look more appealing. Now we're gonna try it on some toast. Hmm. I think the rye bread drowns out the taste of the cloudberry. It does. So on the toast, I get more of a mix between raspberries and peach. Raspberries are still my favorite, but this is pretty good. So to reach. On the toast. Reach. A peach and raspberry combined. A reach. Reach. How about a pasberry? A pasberry. Peasberry. Or a ratch. Peachberry. A ratch. No. Pasberry. That sounds great. Well, how do I get a pad? It's a peach, so it's a peasberry. Peasberry. Now people are going to have a picture of pea. Comment down below what you would name the child of a peach and a raspberry. <laughs> That's our homework for you. <laughs> That's really the best I can compare it to. Yeah, I'll agree. So maybe there's another comment you could leave in what you put cloudberry spread on. Do you eat cloudberry spread? Do you eat cloudberries in other forms? And what would you say that they taste like? What can you compare them to? Definitely on the toast was my favorite. Based on this very small sampling of cloudberry spread, uh, what would you rate cloudberry jam? Or should we put some of it in our mouth plain? In a last minute decision, we're going to give the Cloudberry a chance to touch our taste buds unadulterated uh, with other objects and ingredients and stuff. It still smells really good. 
No, it's kind of like apricot to me. Apricot? Yeah. It does taste different every way we've had it. It is definitely much stronger and more unique alone on the spoon. Yeah. Wow. And I think that's that's my new favorite, just alone on the spoon. It tastes a little bit like brown sugar to me. So I have to hide it so she's not down here eating it. It's like, mm, 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 mm. What is your rating, sir? I'm going to give it an eight. An eight? Yeah. I'm going to give it an eight. Eight is great. Eight is great. And Cloudberry Jam is great. It is. So if you're at Ikea, mm, try some out. Well, there you have it, 3S Club members. The verdict is in. Cloudberry Jam is delicious. It is. Fun fact, this video was supposed to be about salty and sweet licorice from Ikea, but after spending about 90 minutes scouring the house to find them, we can't find them. They weren't found. So, sorry about that. We're disappointed about that. Hopefully you're not too disappointed about that, and hopefully you enjoyed this kitchen quickie. Click on subscribe to become an official 3S Club member where you can leave comments and drop your votes. Uh, upvote or downvote or thumbs up and thumbs down on whether or not you like these items. You don't have to be a member to do that. You can do that anyway. If we find that licorice, we'll see you soonish, I think. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you guys next time. See you next time.